What's up guys, Coding Jesus here. Guys, bad hair day, but good video day, because in today's video, I wanna talk about my own personal take as to AI's impact on the world of software engineering. You guys have been asking for it in the comment section. I see people leaving their unsolicited take about how AI is gonna take over software engineers in the comment section of my videos. And so today I wanted to give you guys my own personal take. It really makes me laugh because the people that give the loudest and most pessimistic takes are often people that know the least about software engineering, have never written a line of code in their lives, or either personally uh, coping with AI's impact on their own industry by mudslinging to make themselves feel better. Now, what people don't understand about the world of software engineering is kind of two to threefold. The first thing is that software engineers aren't just coders. Software engineers understand problems, they define scopes, they look for multiple solutions to a given problem, they assess the benefits and costs of various uh, uh, solutions to that problem, and they also need to manage teams and work with other people. That sort of human level of innovation, ingenuity, creativity, are all things that we haven't seen AI be able to perform. Yes, I've seen AI perform, you know, here's a question, give me the answer. Great, Stack Overflow can do that too. Yes, I've seen videos of AI building websites, great. But what I haven't seen is the AI performing things like making moral and ethical decisions regarding product safety. I haven't seen AI been able to uh, consider things like human freedom, privacy, uh, and making those sorts of ethical considerations when it comes to building software. Neither have I seen AI be able to perform on the level required to build large-scale distributed asynchronous systems that are more than just several thousand lines of code, okay? The second thing that I think people miss out on when it comes to their understanding of AI's impact on software engineering is that they don't understand that the need for software is virtually unlimited. What they usually do is they think of the traditional impact or the traditional paradigm rather of how AI is going to impact traditional labor intensive industries and they apply it to the world of software engineering not considering that very thing, that the demand for software is unlimited. Let me give you an example. Let's say that you own a coffee shop and you employ two purple haired baristas, okay? You know that your coffee shop sells seven cups of coffee every hour on average. And you know that you employ two purple haired baristas that can each produce four cups of coffee. Now, somebody comes up to you and says, I have this new shiny machine that can increase the productivity of each barista such that they can produce eight cups of coffee instead of four. You're going to say, well, great, I'm going to buy this machine. Over time, it's going to pay itself off because I need to hire one less barista. So you go ahead and fire one of the purple haired baristas. Okay. People think of this and say, well, that makes sense. And it does make sense in the traditional labor based industry. But what they don't consider is the fact that those seven cups of coffee are constant. They aren't unlimited. The demand for software is virtually unlimited, such that even if a software engineer is made more productive, and even if the cost of producing software is cheaper, you're still going to need an ever more increasing amount of software engineers to be able to fulfill the increasing demand for software. We as software engineers have been using AI and yet all made more rudimentary versions of AI for years. And despite this, the need for us and the need for more software has only continued to increase. Let me give you an example. We use IntelliSense in our IDEs to be able to autocomplete our code and even think steps ahead for what code we are going to write to allow us to autocomplete that code. We use static uh, analyzers and linters like ReSharper for C-Sharp, for example, to be able to better structure our code. We use things like Clang Format to be able to make sense of our code and style our code in a way that other people can understand better in a team-based environment. And so despite the fact that we've been using more rudimentary versions of AI, the need for us as software engineers has only continued to increase. I also kind of want to touch on my own personal, um, I guess you could say story with AI. It's not much of a story. It's maybe a short story. Um, but that is my use of ChatGPT at work. So I use ChatGPT to do very basic things for me. And this has kind of molded my opinion that ChatGPT and other forms of AI are not going to take over software engineering for not only the reason I just mentioned, but also due to the fact that <clears throat> they're more seen as assistants in the industry than software engineers. I'll give ChatGPT an input. I'll give it an output for a regex and I'll say, build me a regex expression. Here's an input string, here's an output string. Write whatever symbols, forward, backward lookups that you need to write in order to make my job easier. 
I could have spent uh, several hours reading a book on regex that I would have probably forgotten within a month's time. But I just decided to give ChatGPT that work because I'm not going to need to use regex very often. And when I need to, I just want to be quick, get in there, get out with what I need, and apply that to the code that I'm writing. And so I think that that's going to be what AI is going to be relegated to for the foreseeable future, a personal assistant for software engineers. Now, some of you have clung on to that word that I just mentioned, the foreseeable future. And you say, oh, well, eventually software engineering or AI is going to be sentient and it's going to be able to uh, be as creative as human beings. And, well, I can't tell you whether or not that's going to happen. All I can say is by that time, this whole discussion as to whether or not it's going to take over software engineering is going to be irrelevant. Because not only will I be dead, you'll be dead, your kids will be dead, your kids, 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 kids will be dead. And by that time, if AI is competing on the levels of cognition and sentience and creativity and ingenuity that human beings are able to produce and think at, then your career is going to be the last of your concerns because you're going to be living in the movie iRobot. And I'm going to end this uh, this whole spiel here. Guys, I just spit all this stuff. No script. I want to talk to you guys, give you guys my raw and real take. If you'd like to follow me, do so at The Coding Jesus. If you'd like to book my time to speak to me one-on-one, -on -one, you'd like mentorship, you'd like resume reviews, you'd like mock technical or behavioral interviews for software engineering or quantitative development, etc. Calendly link in the description box below, guys. And if you'd like to become a patron, patrons get this video early, up to weeks early, actually. Um, they get access to my exclusive Discord community and they get access to one-on-one -on -one monthly calls with me. Um, link in the description box below, guys. Thanks for watching this video. Hopefully it was able to kind of help you cut through a lot of the noise that's out there. Peace.